what? You want to come in? You just went out there. So now you want to come back in. You sure? Okay, I'm coming. Hey y'all, hey, y'all see Ginger out there just trying to come on, making up her mind on what she wants to do. Woo, y'all, I'm coming to you looking a hot mess on a Sunday because it's Sunday. And you know, after you do your worship, you, you come on home and just, and just relax. So it's Sunday afternoon and I've been up pretty early, you know, um, so now, I'm, I'm back home now and I've been home for a few hours and what I'm doing now is, what I've done now is I have repotted, repotted, rearranged, moved plants around, put them in new containers. And here's the sad thing, I didn't film any of it. None of it. Um, I was just caught up in it. I did film a little bit of my um, repotting of my Cora, my black Cora alocasia. <laughs> I am so excited to have that plant. <laughs> and so today, I'm just gonna give you a tour of the room that did the most. I'm not doing the whole house, just the, the big, the, what I call the great room. Um, it's more like, a, it's, the only person that really hangs out in there is me. So, <clears throat> Ginger, you better not be in there eating my plant. So Ginger's been excommunicated from that room because she likes to, she, chewed on a plant and I will show you the plant that she actually chewed on and so I guess let's just get started. okay so that's where I was and here I am now and um I could give you a panoramic view but I guess here you go here you go here you go just a quick all right so now let's get started over here. I didn't really do much here, just re just brought some plants in. Um, and I need to check the water later. Y'all look at my bird nest fern. It is doing amazing down here. The one up in my bedroom is not doing so amazing. I mean, it's doing okay, but I probably need to bring it down here because this sucker here is just like, hey. So I probably will bring down my other bird nest fern. Um, and then we have a pothos, y'all know. I'm always forever loving a pofo. And I didn't do anything with that one. I didn't do I didn't do anything with either one of these plants except just give them some water today. Over here, this is my little Jacob ladder. I don't know how to take care of this one. I'm treating it like a succulent, so hopefully that's right. Um, here is this little struggling beast here, and it's, it's struggling because of me, because y'all, I had put it in a room and buried it behind plants and did not see it. So yeah, so you see the result. So it's got some water today. Hopefully it'll come through. Um, pothos doing his thing. There's that pothos. Um, protein. Here's a nice little protein. And over here, the only thing I did was bring the protein in the room along with the aluminum plants. And I moved the Jacob ladder over here. So they just have new homes. Now over here, this one, y'all look at this big old elephant ear plant. This is a, a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous plant. And this is actually a dwarf plant. This is supposed to get really big, really huge. I hope it does. Um, down here, you see we have a lot of droopy leaves that are going away. And I'm okay with that because this plant went through shock. It went through shock of me repotting it. And it's also, the lower leaves are just, they just went through it. But it's also shooting out some new leaves. So I'm just letting these drop off and these carry water in the tubes of the stems. So I'll pull those off when I think the plant has taken enough. But if you look up here, I think that's the new leaf right there. So it's, it's doing better. It's doing better, so it's in its new spot, hasn't moved. I love it, it's huge. I'm waiting for it to grow more. Okay, so now we're gonna move over here to this, I think you call this a pedendra. But on, over here we have, um, I just brought in my green philodendron. This is the one I took a clipping from, I think, for the plant that's downstairs in the office. And this one has sat on my kitchen counter for a long time now. 
and I just decided to bring it in here. Okay, this is a type of ivy. Um, this poor thing came blame it because um, I neglected it. It didn't get any water. I don't, I don't know how many. It, it probably didn't get water for about two or three weeks, y'all. So I watered it for the first time. I just, I thought I watered it and I didn't. And so it's looking kind of sad. Had to stake it. But next we come over here to my asparagus. Look, this is new. This whole stem, and you can see, I don't know if you can, can I pick it? Okay, there it is. Those um, are new, oop, it went away. Those are new leaves that are coming out. So this whole stem is new. I am loving this plant. Um, the care for this plant, I wouldn't say it's easy though. It's, I wouldn't say it's easy. It does drink a lot of water um, and I missed it. I spray it down every few days, every time I think about it. Um, I didn't do anything to it today, but just pot it up, just giving y'all the grand tour. Okay, so yes, it did get water today. Um, also, another plant I didn't do anything to, but y'all check it. Oops, I hope I didn't just break that. It is growing a new leaf. And I was worried about this rubber tree because this is the one I picked up from from Target. And I was like, and it was really, really, wasn't in the best, best condition. Oh, there's another one. But it seems to be just perking right up. And I moved it right now to this windowsill. I don't know if it's going to stay there, though. The next up we have... Uh, Let's see if I can see okay there we go so next up we have my uh, my prayer plant my green prayer plant it is grown so much it is a very this is supposed to be a low light plant and um, that's why I have it up against the wall let me step back so you can see you see the two windows windows the two windows on each side of it um, so it doesn't get any type of direct sun and so this it sort of is in a low light area, kind of, but this room stays bright all day. Like, I have no light on right now, and then I'm, I'm filming. So, there we go. It is doing amazing. I also watered it today, and it, it's, it's just really grown. Okay, so here, down here, I like to refer to this as, you know, the hospital. The hospital. So, let's start off. Okay, so here are some clippings. This was my sea blue, sea blue pothos. Um, yeah, y'all, I, I totally screwed this up. Um, I took it out of it, its container and I ended up um, just really damaging the root system. And I, I, it's just terrible. So now it's just cut back. This is all that's left of that plant. Kind of makes me sad because I paid like $15 for it, but this is completely my own fault. So trying to grow some roots. It's been in here for about three weeks now and it hasn't grown much root. So I don't know if this is gonna make it. I don't know. Next up is my avocado tree. And the reason why, since I put it in soil, it hasn't done much product. It hasn't had any productivity. Like, it looks like it's trying to give me something now, but, so I just keep it over here. Just keep it over here. And so I did order that today. Y'all, I don't know what this is. I got this at the end of summer last year, and I threw away the, the name of it. It was in with my Japanese spur. It has really survived, but I have no idea the name of it, but it's having some rough patches. See this side here? The leaves have a all just shriveled away and it looks like it's trying to put out some new foliage so I don't know what this is I don't um this in here this is this little terrarium that I kind of made and I just threw some succulents I really suck at taking care of succulents um I ordered this for the first time today in a month and I, they're still green so it's good hopefully it'll root up and maybe over the summer if this thing will grow mm. Okay, right here. These are the ones that are really sick. Let's see if I can get this lighting. Okay, so here's this ivy. Struggling, struggling. I repotted it today, took it out of the container that it was in, and, and I put it over here. Now, normally I will complain and say this is um, the ivy's fault, but what I, I didn't realize I had done, I had actually trapped this in an enclosed saucer, 
and it had gotten water bound. So this has been over water and this is the result. So hopefully it'll bounce back. Got a couple stems still trying. Next up is my medallion. This is my medallion calathea. Y'all look at this, crispy, 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 crispy. So I decided just to bring it down here. It's in a tray of pebbles and I grouped it with some plants and hopefully that will help it. Um, I, I just, I don't care that the leaves are cr uh, crispy. I just don't want to lose anymore. So this plant is definitely struggling. So hmm, we'll see. Here's one of the plants that Ginger chewed on and you can see where she's attacked it. When she's actually true to this poor Dracaena. Ginger had taken it out. So she has just chewed the hell out of it. So that's and over here, this is new. Um, I really just get the lighting. I really just unpotted this. Out, um, it had outgrown the original pots that it was in. It was in two separate containers, and I ended up taking them out of both of those containers and placed them in, in this one. The root system one here is huge, and I, I kind of wish I'm, I regret not be, not filming it so you guys could have seen it, but. Um, as opposed to those, I'm not worried about whether or not I have shocked this plant. It will be, even if I did, it will be okay. And it's going to be happier in this new container. Okay, over here, this is, I don't know, I, it's not a Dracaena. I think it's some types of palms. It is really like three or four palms I put in this one big container. And it's been in here, and they, and they grew like crazy. And as you can see there, it's shooting out some new leaves. This sucker doesn't stop growing. This grows all year round. Now, the problem is, it's been ginger attacked. And she was chewing on this for a while before I noticed. And so you can see, like this poor plant. Like this side. Okay, so this side, she took out a whole palm because this is bald right here. So she took it out. So, yep. And she was doing that for a while before I even noticed because this, I don't water this one all this much. This water, it gets watered about, I'd say, maybe once, once every six weeks. And, and I drench the hell out of it and give it a little fertilizer and that's it. Over here, this is the humidifier. That I keep the, that I keep down here in this space. Um, I'm not using it right now. There's really no need. We are getting more humid weather, so it's just great. Okay, here's my aloe vera. Now, see, I love this thing. Y'all thinking it looks bad? No, it actually went dormant over winter, and it has is now it's starting to perk back up, and it's giving me a new leaf because you know, so spring is here. Um, this plant will grow, and I, I watered it for the first time today in probably about two months because I knew it had been dormant, and I gave it very little water during that time. And you can tell by the leaves here that it was actually starting to crave some water. So it got some today, got a whole bunch today, and it looks like sad, but no, it's going to perk right up. Y'all, when I got this, this was... Not, this was about six inches tall when I first got it. And I got this sucker from Walmart and paid like $3. And that was about three years ago. And this sucker just keeps on getting bigger. The only problem is it never gives me pups. It never gives me pups. So that's probably something I'm doing wrong. So if you know, let me know. I love this aloe vera. Um, I just moved it over here because I wanted it to be in the sun. So this is, uh, I keep keep the aloe vera and this one they stay on wheels y'all i don't i don't pick them up it's like it's heavy as hell i don't pick that one up i don't pick that up they stay on there you can't see the wheels there but stay on those wheels and just i just roll them where they need to be okay y'all seen this corner before okay there she is you know this is the star of the show back here she probably needs a little bit of water she kind of light but there she is she's the star of the show you know, she's growing stupidly fabulous. You know, it's my marble queen. And here we have this one here. Now, this one is in, what's the name of it? This is a cream supreme. Um, she is in a container 
with no drainage. So she gets treated like a cactus, a cactus. So she gets very little water, but I'm looking at her leaves back here and thinking her water intake, I probably need to increase it. So I will give her some water after I finish filming. Next up we have my, uh, this is the only Hoya, Hoya type plant and it's the Hindu rope that I have. I'm not really into Hoyas, but this was just so, so cute to me. I didn't do anything to this one, nothing at all. Just, I just watered. This whole little thing here, they all pretty, with the exception of the Marble Queen, they all for these two, they get watered about once a month, once every six weeks, something like that. So, but they probably both need to be watered now. Now, I told y'all I did a whole bunch of stuff to plants. Well, it's coming up. First up, this is the Monstera Fed, Fred, I'm just gonna call it Monstera Fred. Um, this is a clipping that I took off the one that I had purchased from, um, where did I get it from? Pepper's Greenhouse online. And I, I got that, the original, the mother plant is upstairs in my bedroom, but I took a clipping off of this and today, and I put it in order. And the roots had actually grown long enough for me to go ahead and plant it up in soil. And this pot here was the one that the pothos, let's see if I can, where that pothos was in and it had gotten root bound. So we cleaned it out, sterilized it, and potted this one in here today. And we're just gonna leave it in this room and hopefully it grows. I, what I wanna do is combine it back with the mother plant. But right now, I just want to see it take off on its own. I want it to get a real established root system, and then I'll join those two back together. Okay, so over here, over here is the, uh, I always forget the name of this. Hmm, let's see. There, there's the name, y'all. Palea, Pepperonia. Okay, so I noticed that this was starting to get these like dying back leaves and I was like, okay, I probably need to repot it. So that's what I did today. I repotted it. I also separated and pulled off some of the pups and I placed it in here and, and the contain in this container. The plant earlier that you saw in the video whose name I didn't know was originally in here. So I just unpotted it and took it out. Just took it out of that and placed it in here. And hopefully these guys will do great down here. Um, this this likes to be kept moist, so I will try to keep it moist but not wet. Up next, back here, this is I think this is a, another type of Dracaena. This sucker was 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 dying on me because it just was not getting enough water. So I took it, I unpotted it, and I placed it in this container here, and hopefully. This is, hopefully these leaves will restore itself. It was just like, oh, like this is from lack of water. It wasn't getting enough water. So hopefully I fixed that problem. Up next is my purple passion, y'all. My purple passion, my purple passion. This container had the ivy in it that I had overboarded it and I repotted it in a coffee cup. So today I just decided to plop the purple passion in here. Unless this is supposed to be a vining plant. So hopefully I don't kill it. Hopefully I'll do, do some research and stay up on it. And this here's a clipping of that pothos, doing much better than the rest of them. There is growing, but even that is very slow. I don't know if this one is gonna make it. And y'all, here we go, here's the corner. Let me just let y'all get a real glimpse at this corner here. Boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna start over here, y'all, with my newest addition. Look at this, look at this, y'all. This is this core, and when I told y'all, see the pollen? That is pollen. Ah, oh, I love the paper though. Um, when I tell y'all this is the new addition and how much I love it, I just repotted it this morning. I'ma turn it. So I just repotted it this morning. Um, in this container, that's a Walmart container that is in. Um, I picked that up from Walmart for about, I think it was $6, it's an eight inch pot. And I just think it looks great in it. And then up here, okay, so y'all, this is a Thanksgiving um, 
Thanksgiving cactus. And y'all know why it's blooming? Because two days ago, the weather has been so up and down, and I do not keep any heat on on this floor here because it, you, you don't know if you need it from one day to the next. And it just confused the hell out of this plant. So it decided to bloom, and it looks great. It's bloomed in March. <laughs> but then, it, then the weather got warm again on it, and so the rest of them rethought it and said, nah, we'll wait. So I think that's kind of neat. But um, they're really pretty. And so, didn't do anything with that today. Pothos, you know I love my pothos. Oxlis went ahead and repotted her up in here. We're going to see how she's doing. Just I, I figured this guy kind of wants to be kept moist. So, I'm going to keep her moist and not wet. And, you know, just give her a little mist every day. Then over here, yo, y'all see this? This is that African mass allocation. Now I don't have, I'm going on two years with this plant, I'm so, but it had, had it, the first year was some trial and error where I had got this sucker down probably to like three leaves, and now she, I figured her out. I have figured her out, and she, you know she she just growing. She popped out new leaves over the winter, a couple of new leaves over the winter, and she did lose some leaves over the winter. But I have figured her out. The toughest thing about this plant for me was figuring out her watering. And I, I got it. I got it to the point where it's just like she really knows how to tell me. Like, and right now she's telling me she needs some. <laughs> but I love this plant. She started my love affair with allocations and boom. You know, oh, that's just a little paper mache. Got that from uh, Tijuana, Mexico about, mm, how old was my son? Okay, over 20, about 25 years ago. It's still hanging in there. And then next up down here, okay. So there's another Pozos. And right next to it, this is that philodendron um, that I had to divide up into four. So there you have it. So you have, and I brought one of them down here and it is, I repotted it today as well. And it is in, um, it has bark, it has real, I kept a real drainage soil on here, so it has bark, it has um, a lot of perlite in it, because I really wanted the aeration, because what, the reason, I figured out what I did wrong with this is I overwatered this and the plant got root rot. So this, this is the only plant, the only piece of the plant that could go in the soil. The rest of them are in water culture, trying to grow the root system back. So yeah. So, okay, so that's the tour of this room. Be right. Okay, y'all, that's about a little, that was long. I'm sorry, that was long. Um, I did more chattering, but I tell you, it's from, it's, it's from the coffee. Now, oof, can't do that no more. Okay, it's not working. It's not working. Okay, we'll worry about that in a sec. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I did have a lot of fun. Um, it doesn't seem like it when I was talking about it, but I spent about an hour, an hour and a half just rearranging plants. And those are, and that's not the only room I rearranged the plants in. I did it throughout the whole house. And um, yeah, so you know, maybe I'll do a tour on those as well. But for that room, that main room over there, what I really would love to do with it is just fill it up with more larger plants because it just seems like that room can do well with it. And um, I, I kind of want to get a couple more Marantas and put up there because that Maranta just did so well in that room. Just did so great. And I don't want little Marantas anymore. I want that one I bought big and it's just doing great. So I want a big Maranta and I want to put it in a hanging basket. But anyway, I, I apologize, y'all. I am so sorry. Woo! But the girl got the jitters. So I'm about to head out. Um, do go do a quick errand because before it rains, because it's um partly sunny, cloudy day. And yeah, but thanks for watching. Thanks for being, you know, coming to see me. And y'all, mm, stay tuned because I don't know. I think I just might come back. I think 
I think we should do a live show again, me and my sister. And I was gonna wait to the end of summer, but I've decided like, hey, if you guys wanna see it, let me know. Let me know on Instagram, you know, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I try to remember to put my Instagram handle down there, but it's the same name as the channel. Uh, it's at Latanya Plankin, Planting and Drinking. Um, and so follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And yeah, just let me know if you think that's a good idea to do a live because we can talk. We can talk about plants, y'all. We can talk for real about plants. But if that's something y'all want to do, um, I think it'll be fun. Anyway, that's it for this video. Um, thank you for sticking around for more. Um, come on back. And if you are just passing through, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Okay. I'll see you next time on more Drinking and Planting.